Hey guys, it's Martin Geek. In this video, I want to share with you guys one of my favorite photo editing apps here on Android devices, Pixlr from Autodesk. Uh, this app has been in the Play Store for a long time already, but it's been getting a lot of great updates and recently it just got a major update as well. And I just want to share with you guys all the good things you could do with this app. And uh, just in case you never knew about it, because a lot of people don't really know about it. There's always new people to Android. Uh, first of all, when you open it up, you get this right here. You get camera, you get photos, you got collage. Here you got made with Pixlr. Um, here you got a couple, a lot of photos that were actually made with this Pixlr app and they look just stunning right here you got some a little bit details of the latest big update uh, which is Pixlr 3.0 and you get a lot of pictures that were actually created with Pixlr there um, here if you go here you could go ahead and change a couple things there that I didn't really do any changes here I never do um, here you could go ahead default save size you could choose that to small medium or max I just leave it in none that way when I save a photo I can I actually choose at that time what a size I want the photo instead of uh, the phone choosing for me this app is free but if you want to pay for it and you want to remove some of the ads that pop out uh, you could pay $1.99 and you remove the ads which it's totally worth it um, let's first let's go ahead and show you guys collage here which is a lot of picture editing apps have collages right but I like the way this one does it and it, it does a great job doing it and here you just choose all the pictures you want to do as a collage right and uh, just click done you can keep on choosing more photos if you want I just pick those it goes through randomly and puts you in one of these templates and like you see there you keep on scrolling and you can see all the templates available look at that and right here you see that you can add more pictures if you want if you get one of these templates you can go ahead just tap there and for example go ahead and add another template another right there click done Boom, and it should add it there. Another thing you can actually do here is uh, you tap right there and you can control the width of the space in between the little pictures. Uh, of course, you could also tap in them and you can edit at the photos as well. Here you can control the edges. Like see here, the edges of the templates. Boom, here you can go ahead and control the size of the collage. And here you go, of course, change uh, the inside color of, you know, the white portion. You could go ahead and put it black, gray, or you could choose the color from here like that. And that's it. So basically when you're done, you can just click next, you just click OK and click done. And the picture is done. The picture is saved uh, right here. You save it. So you could go ahead, small, medium or max, or you could choose custom. It says keep as default so i would basically for example this one i'll just put a medium and click ok and now it's going to be saved to your gallery in a folder that says pixlr here you can also in the camera section it also has a very good camera uh you, with filters and layers um here in filters you could go and switch this to black and white which actually looks very good you take a picture like that bump and look at that you can see the picture that looks very awesome and you can click of course here the plus the the check button and it'll save the photo and you from here you could go ahead and edit the photo as well uh, but there's a lot of things you could do here in the picture camera you could change very easily between filters and i like the way this camera app does it and you can think if i'm not mistaken you can actually make uh, the app if you open the app you, uh, you can actually make it by default to open to this camera that way you're ready to take a picture and you can apply um, filters as well um here you got the layers and here you can apply like different layers then this one looks very cool as well look at that this one this one right here this one right there this one right there looks cool as well take a picture and look at that <laughs> but there's a lot of filters here look at that that looks very cool too that is awesome and of course you can save it or you can discard it there and that's it that's all you can do here of course you got the flash you got the auto flash you got 
a flash off okay so now let's go ahead and show you guys some photo editing here let's go and choose that uh let's go and choose this photo right here of a car that i took early on um from here you can do a lot of things you can of course i think you can also use this in landscape no i guess not but here you can do a lot of things for example if you tap here you use the tools you got crop which you get on every you know on almost every single app that you see there out there in the market you go like that and just choose what size you want and just then choose a check mark uh the check mark there uh you got rotate you got double exposure which is another cool feature here tap to it uh to add a photo you can add another photo there if you want um here you got adjustments with these adjustments you can uh, control the exposure which is selected there and if you tap right here you can see the differences see you can see what's the changes you have done you can click back there if you want here you got temperature here you got contrast brightness brightness works very good as well look at that and you can see the difference there and here you got vibrance here you got highlights um shadows saturation click right there look at that that looks very cool did a great job there uh and of course you got here uh like erasers if you want to erase stuff that you write you could use this and it will just erase things that you've done here and here you can also auto fix which does another good job as well as fixing your picture click done and then auto fix the picture just like that very very simple uh you got um, auto contrast you got blur the blur works very good as well see there you can blur the image if you want if you want to use this right here you can do that as well like tap right there and it'll blur that alone that spot alone and then you got other part color blo uh, boost glow boost um here you got um smooth sharpen you can sharpen the photos here like that you can see the images difference there uh you got splash hue uh this one's very good like if you um taking a selfie and you want to fix your face like uh take like some like take a uh, like uh acne and fix your acne and all that or, or holes in your fault on your face or whatever uh this is a very good uh way to fix your uh selfies and all that so this you should try it out right now i can't do it here because this is a car so there's nothing much i can fix here um i could go put like that right that's nothing much i can fix there but it works better if you have doing a face um here you got brushes uh this is a very cool feature as well for because we sometimes need to like for example pixelate something you choose pixelate uh you could choose the size of the stroke for example the stroke your finger is gonna do i could do there right there and let's say i want to pixelate this and i want to pixelate this just like that <laughs> Or I could also choose the feather effect. <laughs> Looks very cool. And of course here you could erase and erase. Just like that. But I like this that you can actually um, choose to pixelate. You could go ahead and choose that. There, boom. Oops, this is not. You know, there. Hey, there sometimes we we take pictures and we need to like pixelate the face to somebody or pixelate some important number so you can use that and like you see there it looks very good so i, I can save it there and it'll be saved uh there's a couple things here you could do like um, brighten if i want to uh use the brush to brighten this section here let's go ahead and for example click there and like you see here i with the brush or my finger i am brightening the spot and it does a great good job doing that and of course there's a uh, you could do it darken or you could do do as well uh here you got layers there's a lot of layers here you could choose uh from and it's um, it's insane how much the quantity you have of layers here uh you got overlays as well which adds like a little effect to the photo look at that amazing like if i want to choose this it's uh if it's if you never used it before it's gonna like download that and you go click it there look at that you can make it a little bit more transparent and i click done and it saves it here you got overlays and stylized 
I could like choose um, this right here. Cool. Um, and that's it. Here you got like stickers, uh, frame. Here you got whole bunch of frames. So if you like like framing your pictures, uh, you're not gonna be disappointed because there's so much frames you could use here. You could choose that one there. This one basically I never use this, so it does that. But I could do that. Like you see there. Look at that. Awesome. Oh, this one looks cool. And you could of course control the transparency and click done. Look at that. Awesome. Uh, here, of course, you got stickers uh, from stickers. There's a lot of stickers. Same thing as before. There's a lot of stickers you could do. You could use here. Uh, there's also like a tattoo stickers you could do. Let me see if I find it. Love, marks, nature, pride, pride, summer, symbols, ta. Oh, yeah, right here. Look at that. And choose that. Tattoos. And choose that. And look at that. I could choose it make this put it right there and i could go ahead and control it here and you can also go like this and make it smaller as well okay <laughs> that's so cool and of course you got other tattoos you can apply here they're cool because they look very cool when you're applying it to the skin it looks very nice um here you of course there's a whole bunch of stickers you can use here whole bunch of stickers uh this hand right there Oh yeah, look at that. And I can make it a little bit smaller here and click done. And there you have it. So you got that, you got the idea, all the things you could do there. Um, here, this is very cool as well. Like uh, I could write whatever I want here. Testing, nope, testing, Pixlr app, click next. And from here, you could actually control the font. Look at that. You can control the font. If you don't see the font that you want here, for example, you go ahead and download one from here. You can tap, there's a whole bunch of uh, fonts available that you can download. Look at that. Jingo. This one looks cool. I could go ahead and size up, up, upsize it a little bit more, make it bigger. Uh, you could change the color if you want. Like you see there, you change the color if you want. Look at that. Uh, so I'll just leave it white and here you could change this as well here uh, Let's see you can also make it a little bit transparent if you want and here of course you could go ahead and edit again What you're writing there and this is very good. It does a very good job doing this um, here I could go ahead and keep downloading more fonts if I want Look at that awesome. Oh that looks awesome there So I can make that a little bit smaller Ooh, that looks incredible. Look at that. And of course, colors, everything else. Just click done. And you're done. Look at that. Look at that. That looks beautiful. So basically, those are all the things you could do there. Of course, you could always undo some stuff there. Click done. When you click done, here, of course, you can share it on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, you got more. If you click more, you could use um, your apps available here. Like Snapchat and all that. Uh, here you get an ad because it's a free version. But here I click save. And I could ch choose it as the max. And I click save. And it's just going to save it in max. Which is going to be very awesome quality. And we're done if we go to gallery, right? If we go here to gallery, it's going to be in the folder that says Pixlr. Look at the image that we did. And that's it. Look at that. <laughs> So, like you see there, there's a lot of things you could do with this Pixlr app. But there's another thing that actually shocked me because I wasn't expecting. And it's when I started using this app at home, I see the Chromecast button right here. And let's go ahead and show you guys all you could do with the Chromecast. Okay, so here we are on the TV. My TV has the Chromecast. Uh, click right there. Um, here, I got me, I'm going to choose my living room because that's where I'm working at. And look at that. Awesome! So, you can connect pixlr to your tv and one thing that i never thought about is that you can actually use your tv as a big screen for editing so if i tap on a photo there i right, choose a photo voila there it is there's the photo there and from right here you could use your phone as your tool to auto fix everything like that i could go ahead and fix it if i want to see how it looks 
before and after before and after you could do that click done um, here I could go ahead and apply overlays if I want so you could do everything that you do on your phone but here on the TV and it makes up for a small screen you know because uh, let's say you having problems like uh, looking at your phone or you don't like the size of your phone or you would like to edit because a lot of people like to edit images on big phones you know or big screens um, so this right here solves that problem I could click right there it's done there I could go ahead and if I want to add a sticker so you get the you get the idea right you get the idea I could go ahead here to ammo I could put te amo there <laughs> and I could go ahead and resize it. This is amazing. I could put it right there. Look at that. That looks incredible. And click done. I could keep writing. I could keep doing a lot of things here. Everything, everything that I just showed you guys um, on the phone. Look at that. Bam. <laughs> click that right there. Let's go make it smaller. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Wait, wait a second. And you're there. And click boom. Awesome. So this for me is an awesome feature. I never thought of uh, using the editing um, on my t on my TV because uh, I I really didn't think it was possible. You know, I really didn't think it was possible. And it works very, very good. So if you have a nice looking TV, uh, you could do this. And it looks very awesome. Look at that. <laughs> Let's go put a, like a hole right there at the bottom. And click done. So that's awesome. So just wanted to finish the video with this right here. Here, if I want to finish the video, finish the photo, could save it here. And choose max size here on my phone and the photo is being saved and we're done we're done with the video editing and when you're done working on your TV right you could just go ahead and and just click over here the click over here the buttons button again and click disconnect and you're done just like that so guys that's it just wanted to share this video with you guys Honestly, for me, this is my favorite photo editing apps, and I get that question a lot. A lot of people ask me, hey, Mark, what picture editing app I can use there that you think it's the best? And this, by far, for me, is one up there on the top. There is, another. Uh, there is of course, the Google Snapseed, uh, which is also a great photo editing app. But honestly, I like this one a lot more because there's a lot more tinkering I could do to the photos when it comes to photo editing. So thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you guys likes, like the video. If you think there's another app that I should look at, please leave it in the comments. If you do like it, please like the video. If you know other tips I could do with this app or any other app that does this, like the Chromecast feature, let me know as well, guys. So thanks for watching the video, guys. Till next time.